uh, all right guys let's get started any questions from the previous class any of you tried whatever we had discussed in the previous class uh, i'm sorry i have still not recovered so uh, like hence the voice but yeah any uh, anybody tried whatever we had done in the previous class any questions at all is there some question or explanation that you would like me to repeat or any program that we wrote and you did not understand i could repeat it if you want good 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 gopal this is the sum of odd numbers right great job good job good job what about the others did you try anybody else tried very good gopal good, good initiative okay rosine also has a solution and did you guys check if your code is working fine it's giving the expected output cool cool yes so uh, just by looking at the code it looks fine to me just to be double sure uh, so rosine says that yes it's working fine and uh, gopal uh, you could also check okay just run your code in any compiler and uh, try it okay okay you have a doubt in the second one okay got it let's do one thing i will uh, copy paste this and i'll explain okay Uh, guys on the air meet platform it shows that my signal is weak but uh, like when i'm checking the speed it seems fine uh, is my voice fine or is it breaking can you confirm if, if my voice is fine okay cool not sure why air meet portal is showing weak signal okay no problem let me paste that uh, uh, that block of code over here So see, let me just do some indentation so that it's easier to understand. The question that we are discussing right now is uh, a question that I had given in the previous class, in which I had asked you to find sum of odd numbers. Okay, whatever number has been given to you, till that you have to find the sum of odd numbers till that range. and uh, you have to do it in uh, like you know head recursion way all right so um, i hope this first one if uh, if is clear to everybody it's just checking that you know um, so see first whenever it comes to recursion we need a base case okay so when do we stop adding when do we stop adding numbers if we have started from n when do we stop adding numbers quickly in the chat till one correct so this else partner is taking care of it how is it taking care of it because see one will be odd okay so this part will be true but this part will be false okay so if n equal to 1 it will not enter this right it will not enter this if block and uh, n equal to 1 so it will not enter this if block also sorry else if block right because this is checking only for odd numbers so when n equal to 1 only this else block will be entered and this becomes our base case all right now talking about this one the middle uh, condition the second condition uh, a gobal by second a uh, second if else loop yeah this one okay so what this is doing is that say n is 8 okay and if n is 8 so it means n mod 2 is equal equal to 0 right it will come over here but 8 is not a odd number right so if 8 is a even number which will be the closest odd number 8 minus 1 which is 
so in the method odd sum we are passing n minus 1 got it this is what the second uh, if uh, if else is doing like else if block did you get it now gopal and anybody else of course who had some question on this okay cool so guys the deal is that uh, today's class is going to be about recursion and uh, uh, divide and conquer algorithm so uh, i'll be very honest with you in the beginning of the class that the questions that we have got to discuss in this class are way trickier than what we had done in the previous class okay so in the previous class i had just chosen some warm up questions so those questions were from my side okay they they were not from the alma better side i just had some time <coughs> i'm sorry i just had some time so i thought that we can discuss that but uh, yeah but in today's class all the questions that we are going to discuss it is from the alma better team's side and they are a bit tricky okay so if you are not so definitely you will be getting more time to solve it okay it's a bit tricky question it will not be done in uh, say 10 15 minutes for beginners you will at least need 25 minutes or so okay 20 25 minutes to solve those questions and uh, today uh, we are just going to do problems on recursion okay so the objective for today's session will be problems on recursion clear everybody some advanced problem on recursion objective clear okay let's get started with our first problem again i'm telling if you're not able to you know come up with the solution please keep trying keep trying different ways and ultimately i will be discussing the solution so try to understand that and uh, even if you have understood now after the class please go back and make sure that you try them okay all right so give me a second so today's topic is recursion the objective is the agenda of the session is problems on recursion and divide and conquer okay uh i doubt we will be able to uh, cover this because there are a lot of problems like three four problems are there which we have to cover for recursion so uh i don't want to rush you into all of this so what we'll do is that we will first cover the problems on recursion in a very comfortable pace so that everybody is able to understand and then if we have time we'll move to divide and conquer if uh, for any reason we are not able to do it today we'll be doing it in the next class okay the friday's class okay so let's get started do you guys understand what is a palindrome number quickly yes or no in the chat do you understand what is a palindrome random number so for all the people who do not know uh, let me explain what is a palindrome number so a palind so palindrome can be a string it can be a number anything okay so if i write 121 so if you read it from left to right or if you read it from right to left it will give you 121 right so palindrome number a number uh, who's you know the reverse and the number are same are you getting it like if we say palindrome words so dad dad okay or mom whatever these are palindrome words if you read it from right to left like left to right or right to left they make the same word similarly 1 3 3 1 this can be a palindrome number right if you read from left to right or right to left it is a uh, it means the same number did all of you get it what is a palindrome number can all of you share one palindrome number each in the chat from your understanding one palindrome number each please yes correct gopal good kusaram uh, 
and chandini yes you are correct right so these are all palindrome numbers so first thing what you have to do is that uh, the first problem that we will be discussing is find if a number is palindrome got it you have to write a code this you have to write in the recursive manner so write a code to find if a number is palindrome or not question clear everybody okay how much time do you want to solve it like want uh, how much time do you need to solve this question see i'm not in a rush ki you know uh, you have to solve it quickly i just want all of you to solve it okay or all of you to get proper time to solve it how much time do you want me to give you please feel free to let me know how much is like whatever amount of time you need uh i guess up enough 10 minutes will be very ambitious for uh like uh, let's have a time which is convenient to everybody okay so if you are able to do in 10 minutes that's good okay and uh, but for others uh, let's let's say uh, we give 20 minutes what do you guys think abhinav uh, one more thing so uh, i see that abhinav you are very uh, proactive right i see that you very actively solve questions and that's very good so abhinav if you need 10 minutes what you can do now ki uh, you solve using recursive way and once you are done with that and we still have time you solve using iterative way works for you so that your time is also not wasted so the idea is for everybody for whom uh, 20 minutes is a huge amount okay like 20 minutes is a lot of time you can solve it earlier do using both ways recursive and iterative and for others for whom like you're fine with 20 minutes like you need 20 minutes go ahead with that okay i'll be monitoring the chat so at any time if you feel that you know you are stuck or you have written the partial logic you need my help to complete the logic feel free to put it down in the chat okay i can help you complete your logic as well so it's 8:20 i'm giving you time till 8:40 got it let's get started okay uh, was anybody able to do it do you guys need more time guys yes no or time chahiye okay good job abhinav what about the others yes chandni it is difficult oh good good gopal uh, please share your code okay okay i'll tell you a, i'll tell you the logic okay give me a second i'll tell you how i approach these problems okay whenever you have uh, such problems so uh, just give me a second uh yeah okay so i'll tell you a easier way to do this and there is a code which is written in your uh, material also i'm intentionally not mentioning that code uh, because i think the code that i'll be sharing it will be easier to understand for beginners but you can go through that code as well <coughs> sorry and if you think that that's easier uh that's fine okay you can see that all right so see tell me one thing that if number okay if a number is given it's 121 okay and uh, if i write a method which returns r num okay which is nothing but it is returning the reverse of number okay i'm pass i've written a method reverse a recursive method 
and I'm passing my number to it and it is returning a new number okay and if I'm checking if number equal equal to reverse number I can see that it is palindrome SOP in the sense system dot out dot print right I can say it is palindrome right bus it may right it's very simple now see now we have broken down the problem okay that is how you have to approach first break down the problem abhi what is the problematic part you have to write this reverse method okay you have to write this reverse method now ab ye sochte hain ki how do you write this reverse method all right so say you are you you have been given a number 1 3 3 1 okay now tell me if every time i do something like this okay there is my reverse method it is accepting the number okay and say length okay or um, let me give you first a simpler approach and then i'll move to the exact approach if i create a new number out of it okay every time what i'm doing is that i'm extracting the last number and i'm adding it okay so say 1 3 3 1 this is my number so what i'm doing is that every time i'm doing like say there is a temporary number temporary number is nothing but every time i'm extracting one digit of it okay so say if i extract one digit so what will i do 1 3 3 1 1 mod 10 so my temporary number becomes 1 all of you getting how am i getting one yes or no this is the way in which you extract digit okay if you divide it by modulus 10 it will give you the last digit of course right so i'm getting this all right now my new number okay becomes the older number divided by 10 what will the value be quickly in the chat 1 3 3 1 divided by 10 what is the value 133 right now what i can do temp is equal to the previous temp that i was having right this is in the units place right now i need to move it one place to the left right because the new number will be coming over here i am forming it the opposite way right so temp is equal to temp into 10 plus num mod 10 are you getting it so temp into 10 what is it what is temp into 10 temp into 10 is 10 plus num mod 10 num is 133 mod 10 gives me 3 can i say this is 13 my temp becomes 13 following yes now what i'll do every time see this is these are the two steps that i'll be doing to reverse a number okay this is not just true for what we are doing any time whenever you have to reverse a number this is how you do it you keep uh, you know finding modulo 10 and then dividing it by 10 so every time we we'll just keep repeating 1 and 2 okay now this is my temp and this was my num earlier 133 now again my num is num by 10 okay so what will it give me 133 by 10 what will it give quickly what will 13 correct it will give 13 right so this is 13 now my temp is equal to temp into 10 plus num mod 10 right what is temp into 10 my temp was 13 so this becomes 130 right plus 3 this is num right this mod 10 it will give me 3 this becomes 133 right so do you see backwards i have formed the number i formed the number half way through like till here i formed the number <coughs> yeah then again i'll do so see these two lines only i'll be doing okay again what i'll do 
num is equal to num by 10 okay what is num by 10 my num was 13 13 by 10 how much will it give 13 by 10 1 right and again the second thing is temp is equal to temp into 10 plus num mod 10 okay temp was 133 133 into 10 is 1330 plus num is 1 1 more 10 is 1 so this gives me 1331 right this is the number that is being returned so if i check like you know now my temp is equal equal to the number that i was having so i can say it is palindrome right this logic that i wrote this is used to reverse a number got it this is how you reverse a number did all of you understand how are numbers re uh, reversed or do you want me to give you with another example which is not palindrome number reversal logic clear to everybody brilliant brilliant okay so uh, okay so see only these two lines are being called every time right only these two lines are being called every time this is something that's happening in loop right so it will be inside my recursive call correct this is what is happening again and again and this is what is going to be inside my recursive call got it okay now okay so say i create a reverse function say i've created a reverse function okay public or let me write over here public static int reverse okay and uh, i know that it is going to accept two numbers right it's going to accept two numbers right what are the two numbers first is a number for which we need to check whether it is palindrome or not and a temporary number okay or let's do like this let's do like this say over here we call a method uh, check palindrome okay and inside this we are passing a number int number is equal to 21 we are passing a number in this public static uh, public static void let's have it void okay we'll just print it in this method whether it is palindrome or not check palindrome it is just accepting a number right what i have to do is that i have to find a reverse number okay so say int r number r in the sense reverse is equal to reverse if i pass this number and for temp okay initially i'll pass zero initially there is no temp right initially there is no temporary number i'm initially i'm passing zero over here i'm checking if reverse num equal equal to num system dot out dot print ln palindrome else this much everybody got i'll be implementing the reverse function but this much did all of you get anybody who did not get or what are your questions till here What are your questions, guys? Okay, got it, right? Abhi, chalo, let's implement the reverse method. So, reverse may see. Let's try to break it down one by one. 
इट इज गोइंग टू बी अ रिकर्सिव मेथड वाई इज इट गोइंग टू बी अ रिकर्सिव मेथड बिकॉज हमको ये रिकर्स सो लेट्स फर्स्ट हैव द बेस केस वॉट इज द बेस केस सी इफ माई नंबर इक्वल इक्वल टू जीरो वॉट शुड द रिवर्स मेथड रिटर्न वॉट शुड द रिवर्स मेथड रिटर्न इफ द नंबर इज इक्वल टू जीरो what will be the reverse of zero zero right yeah correct so it will just return 10 okay now the else part this is where the recursion begins so see all of this was very simple right nothing new right nothing tricky not, nothing new yahan pe na in the recursive call that we will be making over your like the proper recursion will be happening and it will not be tricky okay we have broken down the problem right so it's not tricky i'll tell you how it is so see temp is equal to temp into 10 sorry plus number modulo 10 sorry number modulo 10 yeah this line clear we have already discussed so say if number is 132 so temp initially will be 0 so number modulo 10 what will it give you it will give you 2 right for num is equal to 132 so temp will just be 2 in this case right all of you getting it correct theek hai so major thing is done now what we have to do a very simple thing that we have to do right every time we have to keep dividing number by 10 why do we divide number by 10 because last digit to be already considered right to so 10 se divide karne ke baad last digit is removed from the number right we only get the quotient part which is not having the last digit that is why we are dividing it by 10 to get the remainder number and what we will do bas isko bhi ab reverse kar do right got it and there will be a point where the number will become zero right so consider that the case that we were discussing uh is case mein right temp was 1 fir abhi agar hum temp ko mod 10 karte right or temp by 10 kar sorry num was 1 num by 10 karte to zero milta right it would have entered the base condition and it would have returned okay let me just run and show you i hope this works ah missing return statement where is it telling oh line number 20 let me not have the cells block Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. We 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 can have the else block. The thing is, I missed writing return over here. Yeah. Now it should work. Oh, uh, why? I didn't it print anything. Let me check. Please give me a second. ओके इट डिड नॉट प्रिंट एनी थिंग आइज ठीक है लेट्स सी वॉट्स द प्रॉब्लम लेट्स सी इफ इट इज एंटरिंग योर और कैन यू वाइज चेक माई कोड वॉट यू थिंक कुड बी द प्रॉब्लम I guess some problem with the compiler. Just a second. I'll copy this piece of code. ओ 
ओके चेक पैलेंट रोम गॉट कॉल्ड विच मीन्स आर कोड एंटर्ड यूर राइट विच मीन्स आर कोड वॉज एबल टू यू नो रीच दिस फंक्शन नाउ लेट सी वॉट्स हैपनिंग to see for beginners if you are not comfortable with putting uh, debuggers you can check like this all right print put print statements and see how it's working uh okay it printed okay earlier i don't know what was the problem okay it printed 121 which is uh, it's selling palindrome let's make it a non palindrome number and let's see what it prints not palindrome got it got it all of you the solution that i gave i'll be be sharing the code with you let let me share function by function now do you guys think it was very difficult was it difficult see the only thing was ki reverse number nikalna hai right whatever number you have uska you have to find reverse Do you guys find that this was difficult? Yes or no? But I hope everybody has understood. Or if you understood, right? cool 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 okay just give me a second i'll copy if the code and i'll get back yes abhinav yes recursion can be confusing initially if you like you know you guys have not practiced a lot right because like uh, there were very limited questions that we did so that's why it can be uh, very tricky initially i did not understand recursion at all like you know when i was learning recursion i did not understand it at all but yeah then i was able to do it right okay so uh there are a couple of questions like few more questions that we had to discuss so let's have a 5 minute break okay and uh, not giving 10 minute today because there's lot that we need to cover so giving a 5 minute break and let's meet sharp after 5 minutes works for everybody Okay, it's nine. Let's meet sharp at nine five. I'll be pausing the session. Okay. Ah, uh, meanwhile, if anybody has any question related to whatever we have discussed, please feel free to put it in the chat. I'll be monitoring the chat. So if you guys have any question, I can help you in the meantime. Okay, in the break time. Okay. So see you sharp at nine five. Okay I hope you guys are back Cool cool thank you Let's get started So the next problem that we will be doing is that so first you will have to do it in the iterative way and then we'll move to recursive way okay Because I see that there is some confusion like uh, because recursive is difficult first we'll do iterative we'll understand the logic and then we'll convert it into recursive okay so uh, the question is you guys understand what are consonants anybody who does not understand what are consonants uh consonants in the english alphabet exactly non vowel letters okay so uh, in english alphabet there are 26 letters right you have 26 alphabets so a t e, i o u are considered as vowels and the remaining are consonants 
so you have to write a program in which so i will be sending a string okay and you have to tell me how many consonants are there got it question clear everybody i will be sending you a string and you have to tell me how many consonants are there question is clear okay and this you have to do in the iterative way using loops pehle loop se karte hai okay do not use recursive way now first we'll do it using loops and then we'll move on to recursion okay so uh, how much time do you need to do this okay it's 9 8 i'm giving you 12 minutes okay if you think that you need more time please feel free to let me know okay so i'm giving you time till 9 20 okay and then we we'll proceed uh was anybody able to come up with the solution with the iterative way uh okay okay let's do a thing ki uh, what i'll do is that i'll give you a hint and then you try to solve what do you say kare aisa shall i give you a hint mm i don't see any resp okay okay i'll give you a hint ठीक है डू नॉट वरी नथिंग हार्ड एंड फास्ट इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू सॉल्व आई एल एनी वे टेल यू हाउ इट नीड्स टू बी सॉल्व बट आई एम गिविंग यू अंट मे बी अगर खुद से सॉल्व कर लो सो इट विल बी मोर सेटिस्फाइंग राइट सो सी गिवन देर इज अ स्ट्रिंग स्ट्रिंग एस इज इक्वल टू वेलकम ओके और फर्स्ट लेट सी वन वर्ड ओनली ठीक है Say this is your string. Welcome. Now what you have to do is that there is a function in Java, okay, which is called char at, okay. So what you have to do is that char c str. Sorry, this s, okay, str. Yeah, string dot char at i, okay. Or let me. Do it over here and let me show you. Uh, I'm giving you a hint now. Then later we'll discuss the solution. Try करो खुद से, okay? So say my string s is equal to welcome, okay? Now what I can do is that I can run a loop. For i n t i is equal to zero, i less than s dot length, i plus plus. Okay, so uh, it will start from you know zero, one, two, three, four, and it will go till s dot length. Okay, whatever is the length of my string. Char c is equal to s dot char at i. Okay, now let me just print and show you. I guess it will okay. Cannot find symbol. Ah, okay, okay. It's actually like this, yeah. So see, I got all my characters. Okay, so in this C, I've got all my characters. This is one hint for you. Can you try from here? Can you try, guys? Or do you need more hints? Tell me, however, it is okay. Try from here, please. 
see if you can build on top of this logic That's nice. We have already found few solutions. Let me check. Yes, Sabinav, your solution looks correct. Could you please run and check if it's giving you correct output? Yeah, Rosine, your solution also looks correct. Just one thing, Rosine, that uh, you are doing for a sentence, right? One entire sentence. So uh, in the sentence, there could also be a full stop. There could, there could be a comma. There could be a, say, you know, exclamation mark, question mark, whatever, OK? So add a check for all those also, OK, if you are doing for strings. Got it, Rosine? Okay, all right. Let me just run and show you. Okay, so say we have count equal to zero. What I can do is that if C equal equal to A, right now I am doing it for only one word. So, uh, you know, I'm not doing that or like I'm not putting for space and everything but if you're doing for entire sentence you can check for space as well okay so uh, c should not be equal to a and c let me paste yeah c should not be equal to e i o u right if it's not equal to all five of them which means that it could, it is a constant. I can say that in this case, what I'll do, count plus plus, okay? This thing, I'll move out over here on the string. Let's run and see. Excuse me. Okay, so it is giving four. Let's see if we, if we have four. So one, two, three, four, yeah. W L C M. 
these are the consonants clear i hope the solution is clear to everybody cool now can you try the recursive way see agar loop you you are able to reach the iterative way right so from there if you have to do recursive way what you'll be doing is that ye jo loop component hai na this loop component just try to move it to recursion if you move this component to recursion how is your uh, you know uh, how is your code going to look that look like so just this move this part to a new function and try to make it recursive okay do you want to try it cool cool so i am giving you only 15 minutes this time because because iterative way we already discussed okay so from iterative to recursive it will be easier so i'm giving you only 15 minutes okay so it's 9:31 let me give you 14 minutes 9:31 let's start sharp at 9:45 okay try till 9:45 oh uh, yes very 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 good observation rosine so what we can do is that uh, you can either change all of them to lower case or you can change all of them to upper case okay you can do that or what you can do is that while you are comparing you can uh, like you know over here also you can check for both cases but yeah what we can do is that s is equal to s dot to upper case yeah upper case lower case anything is fine okay very good observation rozi i miss that oh it failed yeah let me just make it to lower case because if i make it to upper case then these things will also have to be changed right s dot to lower case yep okay try it with recurse recursion please all right was anybody able to do okay i see there are solutions or oh, no no this is for the previous one uh, was anybody able to do guys or let me know where is the problem where is the problem you are facing i can maybe help you with that anybody tried yes no Uh, were, did anybody try like did you get time to try like uh, like were you able to whatever whatever is the state of your solution you can share okay 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 theek hai so let's let's build from your okay because all of us have already understood this code let's build from your what we can do is let's have a, another function a public boolean this function will just check if it is a consonant or not okay and if it is not a cons like if it is a consonant it will return true otherwise it will return false okay let's create this function public boolean yeah or public static boolean check or let's try is consonant okay it will receive a character and we will do the same thing okay so what we are doing is that if the character that we are getting if it is not equal to any of these we are doing return true otherwise return false okay clear yeah. what we are doing is that we have created a method in this method we'll just pass a character let's break things down okay one by one so uh, we will just pass character and we'll see whether it is consonant or not so this thing can be removed right isko hata dete let me remove this entire thing actually 
what we can have is that say public static void count uh, let's make it int okay count consonant so what it will receive is that it will receive the string and it will also receive a initial count which will be zero okay now what is the base case can anybody help me with the base case what should be the base case guys or let's receive one more thing over here okay uh, anybody can uh, can you help me with the base case over here please see what's what is the base case okay if my string equal equal to empty in that case i will return count right count will initially be zero and whatever is when my string is empty i'll return the count okay coming to the else part what needs to be done so see every time what you have to do is that you have to check the like see when we were doing it for numbers right when we were doing it for palindrome do you remember how we had done from back we were taking one number at a time and then we were like you know doing the remaining thing similarly we will do over here what we'll do say we also get length okay int length what we'll do char c is equal to s dot at length minus one okay because it starts from zero right so it will always give me minus one or let's have length i'll pass it accordingly okay with this can i say that every time i'll be getting the last character do all of you agree with this can i say that every time i'll be getting the last character okay now what we have to do every time we just need to reduce the length correct so that we get last character then we get second last then third last and so on right following so what i'll do if you know is consonant there's a method that i've created is consonant inside that method i'm passing c the character that is there right so if this thing is returning true it will come inside the if block in this case i'll do count plus plus okay and what i'll do i'll call the same method okay so return count consonant and i'll pass my string whichever is there i'll pass length minus one and i will pass Mm. yeah i'll pass count okay so see this is not ex uh, actually you know what i should do over here instead of s i should do over here like this if you know if length becomes equal to zero <coughs> sorry then i'll just return the count got it if length equal to zero which means i've iterated all of them i'll just do or length equal to minus one let's see with minus one if it doesn't work we'll make it to zero okay works should we try let's do this i'm calling this count consonant in this i'm passing my string i'm passing length of the string minus one because you know length it gives you the entire length but actually it starts from zero so the character will start 
you know the last character will be at length minus one and then i'll pass count okay so i'm not telling that it will work perfectly we will see what is the error oh okay i have to write return hmm. Yep, so it worked. Got it, all of you? Did all of you get it, how it worked? See, let me give you a dry run, okay? Initially, our string was welcome and length was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, okay? So we passed 6 over here and count was 0. So in this recursive, we got welcome, 6 and 0. Length was not equal to minus 1. So we extracted the last character. We checked if it is a consonant plus plus. Okay. And then call the recursive function, but do length minus one. Every time do length minus one. So that initially you are checking the last character. Then you're checking the second last character, the third last character and so on. Got it? And when length becomes minus one, this means that we have covered all the characters. And now we can just return count. I hope all of you got it. Did everybody get it? Cool, cool. Any questions? Okay, all right. So uh, this class will be continued in the next, this topic will be continued in the next class also. There are a couple of more questions that I wanted to discuss, but we just have five minutes remaining and uh, we won't be able to complete it. So I don't want to give it right away. We'll take it up in the next class. Okay, guys. Any other question for today's class? Cool. I hope all of you got it, whatever we discussed. So we discussed two problems and three solution, right? For the second problem, we discussed both the iterative and recursive solution. Please practice it. Okay back and practice it after the class and uh, yeah uh, it was nice teaching you all and uh, good night everybody see you in the next session over to you Harshal uh, thank you Soumya thank you for the class uh, hey guys uh, first of all I would like to make an announcement uh, tomorrow there is an ask me anything session by Mr. Abhay Anand, the co-founder of Alma Better. So you guys can join that session. I think the details of that would be in your community section. And uh, about the assignment, uh, since uh, the Alma Better team hasn't posted any assignment for the last lecture, uh, we don't have any assignment to discuss. Is there anything else from the class today you wanted to discuss? So I would request you guys to please practice as practice will be the only help that you can get. And uh, maybe you can try practicing other problems like uh, Fibonacci series or a uh, few other sample problems that you may come across on the net and try and solve it using recursive method. And in the next lecture, if you don't get it, you can ask the instructor or me uh, Maybe I'm not there for the next lecture of yours, but then you may ice ask the instructor. So that's it. Or if you want anything from recursion for today, I can help you out. Recursive method advantages. See, uh, in certain conditions, like uh, certain certain type of problems require recursive method as their solution like the towers of hanoi problem it's a famous problem if you search about it you'll get to know and in cert certain traversals recursion is better as although iteration is faster and takes less of memory stack but then in certain situations we prefer recursion over iteration it's like case based. Yeah. 
so like there is no one definitive solution to a problem in programming you may approach it using uh, multiple methods as today also you saw you could do it using iteration and you could do it using recursion so the concept of recursion basically the codes become cleaner in iteration the codes become you know a bit cumbersome to understand the flow and all in recursion the lines become less although the memory stack is larger but the lines become less and codes become clearer and once you are comfortable with recursion you will find it pretty easy to understand as well for now as you are beginners uh, you might be for finding some problems in that but other than that uh, once you are comfortable with it you will find the code code looks much cleaner with recursion so those are the few advantages oh, welcome gopal uh anyone else wanted to ask anything so shall we wind up then no questions if, if there are no questions okay class good night and keep practicing few problems i'll suggest at least try two three problems in the time you get before the next lecture and uh, try and solve that because only the practice will be your aid that is i'm repeating again that is the only thing that would help you okay good night guys